After thousands of hours, I have summed about 20 plus tricks that can speed up your process and workflow plus with some cool effects. So let's start with this cool aerodynamics effect. Just add a cube and scale it small. Apply scale and duplicate it few times. Go into effects and quick smoke. Scale the domain in edit mode. Add wind and increase its strength. Make the surface emission to 0.5. Add a cube, add fluid property and make this effector. Just add an attribute to get this cool emission effect. We all create water with a noise node, but it just looks bad. To fix it, just add a principled volume and change the anisotropy to 0.8. You can create this cool fisheye effect by just changing this lens to panoramic and play with the settings. You can create cool laser effect by just increasing the power of an area light and reduce its spread to zero. You can animate the leaves of a tree by just using a displace modifier, add a cloud texture, Decrease the strength to a very low number. Make separate vertex group for leaves. Add an empty and animate its rotation. Press Shift plus E and select Linear. And a Deform modifier and animate its bend value with Noise modifier. A quick tip, if you want free textures and environments, Polyhaven is the best place for it. We all use a noise texture to make water puddles. Instead, use maps like these, which you can get for free. And you can use them as a roughness and a bump map, just like this. A cool color trick that I use a lot is that I use Hue Saturation node to change my world color. I can improve the color, make a different color forest with it without needing to find the best world. I use this composition trick for all of my renders. Add a lens distortion node and play with these values, or you can just use my free lens effect that will always make your renders better. You can add God rays easily by just increasing the density and anisotropy to something like 0.8. You can use a cylinder to create a booster by just using a video like this and plugging it into the emission. And alpha, add little glare to make it look better. You can also add depth in your scene by adding particles in it. Just use images as planes add-on or you can try my cinematic starter pack, which has these pre-set up particles that you can easily drag and drop. You can easily do a transition between two materials by using a gradient node, add empty here, and plug it into the factor of the mix shader. You can add multiple empties and make a complex shader like this to create cool effects. You can use your bake simulations by just going to the directory where you baked it and import it like this. A real life destruction always have multiple layers. You can do that in Blender by adding multiple layers like plaster and wood to make a better destructions. And to top it off, add some smoke to make it look realistic. If you are lagging in viewport die to a high poly count model, just select it and in the viewport, Visibility, select bounds. You can create realistic temperature lights by adding a black body node and setting the temperature. If it is warm, then select 2,500. And if it is cold, do 6,000. You can create quick water simulation 
by just using dynamic paint. Subdivide a plane, add Canva, and select waves. Add the mesh you want to use. Add dynamic paintbrush property to it. Play the animation and move the cube to see the result. You can attach a boat to an ocean by just adding a plane, subdividing it, and adding a shrink wrap modifier to it. Add pinpoint like these. Add your boat, add copy transformation constraints to it, and select the plane and the vertex group you created, and you are done. You can create epic renders like these by just using a sky texture, and add little fog to hide it, and you can get results like these. Add little depth of field to hide the background more if you want. You can watch more 20 tricks in this video.